the avocado. This little guy and pretty much everything else in town has to take four separate plane rides to arrive up here in Chili Barrow, Alaska. Adam. Your material up there seems like it's running a little thin. What the heck? I think Barrow might have one great story left in her. Hello, everyone. This is What the Flick. Ben Mankiewicz, Matt Achety, Christy Lemire, Lonzo Duralde. Uh, four movies this week, uh, and we begin with a movie that I did not see, and I'm very disappointed. Um, uh, Ken Quapis. Is that how you say his name? Quapis. Quapis, yeah. He's a television director, but he's moved into movies, and uh, this is a movie about whales. Yes, it is a movie about whales. <laughs> and <laughs> not quappy at all. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, terrible. Uh, this is based on a true story about saving I the guess. whales. I don't remember it. I was in high school. Uh, right, who remembers? No, it's uh, true. It's true. It's based uh, on a true story. Yeah, but sure, it, sure, sure. Tons yeah. of news right. footage in this. I assume it's true. Yes, stars uh, John Krasinski and Drew Barrymore. Uh, Krasinski plays a young reporter, a cub reporter in the local affiliate who finds these whales trapped in the ice and it becomes this big to-do to get them out. This is solid ice. It goes for five miles from here to the open ocean. Three gray whales are now trapped in walls of ice six inches thick. You have whales in trouble and you didn't call me? I didn't call you because there's nothing you can do. There's always something you can do. Rachel, I'd like you to meet Fred and Wilma and this it's Bam Bam. <gasps> Everything's gonna be okay. The only icebreaker within navigable distance belongs to the Soviets. I'll be damned if I'm gonna let the Reds in to save the day. Then those whales are going to die. Even though they're big and powerful. They're so much like us. We're vulnerable. We get scared. And we need help sometimes, too. None of you guys remember the actual story? I don't, but there's all kind of footage of the, the big three anchors. It's a good little time capsule of the 80s. Yeah. The big three anchors talking about these whales trapping yeah. the ice. Is, I, I, again, I didn't see the movie, but what I remember of the story was that, you know, it was some significance at, at the time, and it was, you know, the, the Soviets and you the You remember Americans. it because you're older than us. That's right. <laughs> uh, all of them uh, working together, but now I've since heard little ads for the movie and little, that, that it was the impetus for the, ad, the breaking of the ice, literally, between the Americans and the Soviets. Well, you know, I saw that's a, that seems like an... There was that press conference with, with Reagan saying, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this ice. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, free these this whales. Is, this yeah. is one of those movies where there's no opening credits at the beginning, so if you don't already know who's going to be in it, it's like every scene throws it, oh, oh, and look, and like there's, there are, there's this cavalcade of character actors in this film. Oh, there's, like, there's Stephen Root. He's a governor of Alaska. Yeah, exactly. And like, you know, Ted Danson in this movie, and right. Rob Riggle, and, and Kristen, Kristen Bell. Bell. And it's like, whoa, you know. So it, 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 that's kind of this odd thing where it, the more it rolls along, the more you're like, oh, and, and there's. And, the, and this is a movie that didn't grab me at first, but it kind of pummeled me into yeah. enjoying it by the end yeah. of it. It, it kind of, as it goes along, like, it's it's terribly earnest, mm. right? It, it's, it's, but you can't really turn away from it. Like, it's kind of cute, it and like, it kind of. Sorry, it sells itself. Yeah. Say, it is earnest, and yet it's kind of knowingly earnest. Like we walked out right. talking about it's cheesy, and it knows, it it's, knows cheesy, it's cheesy, and it embraces right. its cheesiness. Right, but it cheesiness. doesn't quite fall into camp. It's not full on parody. No, no, no. Right, well, right, what's right, weird right. about it is that like it, it draws these characters in the way that like a Disney live action movie from the '70s would. <laughs> you right. know, very kind of simple. You know, sort of. And this is the good guy, and this is the. But then at the same time, it's got this very kind of not cynical necessarily, but it it, it kind of makes the oil companies look bad at one point, it makes Greenpeace look bad at one point, like the media, like everybody has their own agenda here. So for a movie that starts out seeming like it's this sort of cuddly kids adventure about whales, it also is kind of well, brutally deep, realistic about and the motives of, you know. I liked about it is that it doesn't, it doesn't paint just in black and white, like it kind of shows that you know, there are a lot of sides to this yeah, story. No, no, no. And but it's just interesting that it does that while at the same right. time making the characters be so edge-free, right. you right. know? Right, for what would otherwise be kind of, you know, it's it's not a Disney movie, but what would otherwise seem like a throwaway Disney live-action film, it's actually got a little bit of depth to it and sure. kind of takes its character seriously, which I liked about it. 
Yeah. More, yeah. more than I expected. And it's, it's funny because you talk about the earnestness and yet the, the knowingness of it. So you have these, these Russians on, actually, and they're the Soviets back then, on this right, giant so ice barge, and they are like heading toward the ice on this mission that they've been cajoled into. But they're nice. They're not depicted as the stereotypical right. evil no, Russians, no, no. whatever. Right, they're but not going to they, come and nuke those whales. Right, yeah. and, and then at one point, during a poignant moment, they all do a shot of vodka. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> But that's what happens, right? The, uh, yeah, maybe. You speak Russian. And, yeah, then, at the, <laughs> and then at the end, uh, I'm given to understand all three whales are killed. Shut up! Yeah. Well, and they were delicious. Apparently, not they were all, delicious, exactly. Not, <laughs> well, that's actually part of the story because like, the native people. I don't know, want, know what happens. I'm just no, making no. it up. Uh, um, but that's part of the story, too, is you have the native people and like, they need the whales. Yeah, they, too. they, they hunt other yeah. kinds of whales, but mm -hmm. they're considering hunting these if it doesn't look like there's any other right. way to, like, hey, to get the whales. Whale. And, but, and then, so, like, so, like, Drew Barrymore is the, the Greenpeace person, and her whole thing is like, oh, these savages, they want to hunt the whales. And it's like, wait, you're the Greenpeace person in Alaska, and you know this. <laughs> little about the native peoples like I don't know I mean which maybe it was true because you see the real woman she's playing in yeah. the closing credits but it, it just sort of struck me like wow so okay you're kind of awful and then the oil company guy is very awful and so I don't know it just well, everybody I like, I like that part of it I like the sort of that that that, that they make complicated people in characters that are generally sort of stereotypical yeah, that's good but then you've got the John Krasinski character who like now was he the reporter in that little town, or did he just happen to be in that little town? I think he worked the for the station broke? in Anchorage, but he was working out of Barrow and doing a whole bunch of right, stories right. out it, of it, Barrow, just, and he just, stumbled upon this. He seemed very at home there, like with the locals right. and everything. He'd been there for a few weeks. Yeah. Oh, okay, I, that, was, that was a little... And, and Krasinski is... Fine. Boyishly enthusiastic. Yeah, I just, right. it's just, you know, it's hard to like, forget Jim I, Halpert. It is hard, and I, I really liked him in, in Away We Go, which we not do. a lot of people liked. But, but yeah, I like the Away We Go. I love the Away We Go. In this yeah. movie, it, 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 was, it was weird. I felt more Jim Halpern about him, but at the same time, he's trying to be all sort of, you know, gung ho about the whales and stuff. I don't know. It, he's, he's fine. I was just reminded as I was looking over Ken Quapis that he did uh, with Drew Barrymore. Uh, he's just he, not that into he's you. He's just not that into you, which mm -hmm. I, I liked that movie. And yeah. the first sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. That wasn't bad either. That the wasn't first bad one. either. Yeah. And she, <laughs> said, she said with uh, Kevin Bacon and Elizabeth Perkins. Yes. No, look, he's been look, around. He's been around. That's right. All right, so you guys have numbers for this? Um, yeah, but I don't remember what I said. <laughs> Six. It's it, cheesy, but it knows it's cheesy, right. and it's, it, kinda, it's, not bad. it's, it's kind of it's, endearing it's, for that it, reason. It's yeah. cute. I, I give it a six. I, I would tell people to stay through at least the beginning of the credits because oh, yeah, there's yeah, a particular yeah. news person that was stationed in Alaska around that time that shows up. That's and and also, and, you, and, and it turns out that a lot of the people in the movie who you might think are kind of ludicrous amalgamations of real people. No, 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 they're real, they're real people. people. Like, yeah. the actual people show up in the closing credits. What did I give it? I forgot. Six and a half. Six and a half, <laughs> six point five. Uh, that's a 6.2, so a sort of a, a tepid, uh, yeah. lukewarm water recommendation for uh, Big Miracle. You could do worse. Yeah. Oh, and it's yeah. doing what? Tomato it's uh, right around there, 69% on the tomato meter. We're all very surprised. A miracle that this movie turned out okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs>